Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today I have Orlando New Construction by Pulte Homes. And this is Sunset Preserve. And behind me is the Roseland floor plan. Now this home is a four to six bedroom, three and a half to six bathrooms, three car garage, and it can range between 4,272 square feet and 4,674 square feet under AC depending on your options. Now the price at the time of video for this home is $764,990. The HOA is $177.50 per month. There is no CDD. It is a gated community with a community boat ramp and dock that is on Lake Pickett. This is a great opportunity big old half acre lots so stay tuned hit the subscribe and alert because we be bringing you we be bringing you these homes every week <laughs> so let's go and see the Rosalind. all right guys here we are in front of the Roseland. Now what Pam had just showed you on the right side of, or my right side of the home, is where the garage will sit. Now it won't be this way, they're set, they're set on side of the home. So it's a side oriented gar garage. Now when you get up to this part of the home, the foyer, it is a very large foyer with a dual door right here. It's blue, Pam, or like a gray blue. But a dual door, we haven't seen a dual door in Yeah, a while. that's pretty nice, right? And then we have the electronic door lock I mean, though, <laughs> no door lock here right now, but you can put that if you want for a small charge. Now we do have a patio up here in the front that has two seats. You can see it fits comfortably, right? You can actually fence this in if you want, hang out, watch your neighbors jog by. That's a good option, right? But this is a grand home. We also have two windows out here with the designer bars on them. And those are for your um, office area, which we're gonna show you in a minute. So follow me in guys, as we come up, and it's lots of space for um, Amazon packages, right? You could do damage <laughs> up here with Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> follow me in guys. All right, so just using one of the double doors, right? Cause we don't need two right now. <laughs> but as you come into the Roseland, you can see that this is a highly upgraded model, right? Now the hallways are very large, but I want Pam to show you exactly what kind of flooring we get pl engineered plank right that blonde engineered plank going throughout the whole home i love that go ahead pam oh and the two-story ceiling which is 20 feet 20 feet now pam it, do you see the tray ceiling with the you know the transom windows up there for light oh, yeah. but show them go around and show them the balcony right in the foyer pam's gonna flip around don't get nauseous on us guys <laughs> there is a greeting balcony right in the foyer off the second floor love that that's pretty Ro awesome was it romeo and juliet yeah there you go right or rapunzel right? drop down your hair or me and the and me and the door dash guy <laughs> <laughs> <So> <laughs> while pam's laughing that's an awesome feature pam did you measure the hallways <laughs> yes i did it's seven by eight seven by eight awesome all right now two Pam's left, my right when it come in through the door. We got double doors here as well, which leads you into your flex area, right? Love the dual decorative windows in the front because we have a window sill that's about knee high for more window real estate. Love that because lots, of more, lots more light comes into the home. Tray ceiling in this, which is an option, right? But this, I feel like this is a big flex space. What it is. It, yeah. It is 18 by 12. 18 by 12. I mean, this can be an office. It could be a game room. It can be even a guest room for when people come over because you don't really need a closet if you're a guest, right? You got your suitcases. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, we head back out into the hallways, right? And here we are. We roll right into our formal dining area. I know that homes stop building formals. So this is a really great option to have a formal dining with two windows for natural lighting. You see that this table could fit eight. You can have a 10 seater easily here though. Very easy. We have our credenza here for serving. We have another, you know, drink tray over here and pretty high ceilings at nine and a half feet. Love the uh, chandeliers, but how big is this space? This is 15 by 12. 15 by 12 guys that is amazing i do want to show you right here and i'll show you again but just from here you, you can see that you have a butler's pantry so you have also a wine fridge so if you're going to serve your guests some wine there it is but we're going to talk about more of that when we roll around the kitchen area let's just go through the hallways so we stay uniform 
And man, look at these stairs. I love the, the uh, backsplash tile they did right here on each step going up. It's a really nice look. So there's a grand stairs that open all the way up right to the bottom. Love that. Railing with the wrought iron and the twist. Really nice looking as we go upstairs. Again, I'm going to show you the upstairs area in a second, but stay with me for this tour. We have our living room space here and then we have our kitchen right really quickly let's go to the kitchen we do have our coffee station here that's what i think that would be it's either side you can have a his or hers coffee you station you can have your his and hers I, <laughs> yeah I do if you agree. don't want your husband touching your coffee station you can get your own <laughs> but we do have the refrigerator cubby here we have the overhang here crown molding 42 inch cabinets with the design very very nice i'm going to stay on this side real quickly so let's straight go to our gourmet options with the convection oven we have our regular oven big old doggy draw look at that in the built-ins right there you go right and there is more cabinetry on top with crown molding but we're going to roll back into that butler's pantry that we were talking about now here's your wine glasses your built-in for your wine bottles there is that wine fridge we were talking about with that stone top that is that you'll find in the kitchen when we show it to you and another 42 inch top option with the backsplash to match the kitchen and straight into our large walk-in pantry which is six by four nice so you're gonna have plenty of food in there guys and for plenty of entertaining <laughs> now we come back into the kitchen area now they did put the coffee in here me and pam are just saying we don't agree with that it goes over there okay. but <laughs> but we have that stone top that is beautiful looks like marble and we still have the same backsplash that matches the butler's pantry but here we have our electric range it's a five burner with our range head our range top here and our exhaust out to the vent of the top of the home very nice very nice so if somebody's you know catching fish on lake picket that smell doesn't stay in the house <laughs> now we have a large large island guys with an industrial gooseneck we got a carbon sink in white here right now pam how big i don't know this is big how big is this island 12 by 4. 12 by 4 guys 12 by 4. Go ahead. And you get the extra storage on, on the, the sides, right? Yeah. You, on your side and on this side. Both sides you have extra storage. Fantastic. Now they're only showing five seats here, but you can put two more on the side, right? Make it seven, but you have a lot of space here for people to eat breakfast, not mess up the, the formal dining room, and still be nice and clean in the morning. We have more surface top, but Go ahead, Pam. So that surface top you're talking about yeah. is 16 feet. 16 feet. But I love it. But I love more the transom windows on the bottom, letting in that light under the cabinets, which are 42 inch, by the way. I love that look because it just gives it a clean, openness, open look. Do you know I missed that? What? Oh, the transoms. The tra <laughs> I've been looking at them all day and I'm like, how the hell did I miss that? I'm sorry, I cursed. That's awesome. So, and then we have the cabinetry on the bottom to follow with those extra specialty drawers for your pots and pans, of course, spread around. We have another small drawer and then we have the dishwasher in reference to the sink so you know what's going on there. And of course, little trash drawers and stuff like that for pots and pans. They got everything for you guys, everything right now we enter our breakfast nook and what a breakfast nook we got five windows surrounding this breakfast nook, guys and that you know it, i gotta say it over and over again natural light right it sells and it's also so inviting so we got five windows you can fit a nice credenza back here for a serving um i love the round table it fits the area really really well go ahead pam nine by twelve nine by twelve that's a nice space, guys. Really, really nice space. So if there's a little bit more people than fit on the island, send them to the breakfast nook. <laughs> now, guys, let's talk about the living room real quick before we go outside, right? I just want to show you here this beautiful living room. Has enough space for two big couches, coffee table in the middle, nice chairs around. Love the, um, the uh, side tables here. Big old media cabinet and a tv really nice i would put an 85 inch that's me yeah it needs to be a little bit bigger yeah, look at that wall man you gotta... <laughs> that wall look at those windows yep yep i you know what a full fireplace here built in that would be nice 
That would be nice. But how big is this living room space? 18 by 17. 18 by 17, guys. It fits the whole family comfortably. Now, as we move through the living room space, before we go towards the back of the home, I got to move. Go ahead. I'm trying to tell you the ceiling oh. height is 20 feet in here also. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. See, you missed the windows. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what ceiling height? Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> How big is it again? 20 feet. 20 feet on the ceiling height. That's almost, that is two stories. Yes. That's two stories of ceiling height in the living room area. Love that. That's awesome. So here is your heavy sliding doors, right? These slide all the way back. They're a pocket door, aren't they? Yeah, they're hideaway pocket doors. It means show. it hides all the way away towards the concrete wall and we open up to our outdoor area. Now guys, I gotta let you know, right? That the pool doesn't come with the house. We're just showing what you can do with the yard space you get on a half an acre lot. So just let me explain. There's the pool, right? That would be your pool. Then we have the fencing, but your lot doesn't end there guys. Oh no, no, no. You see that stone wall way down there? That's still your property, right up to the stone wall. So if you want to put a circus back there, if you want to put, you know, I don't know, a state fair, you have the room for it. <laughs> we have a pool here. Love what they did with the pool with, the, uh, with all the uh, features that it has there, the water features. Love it. It's nice and simple design. But again, this is just an idea of what you can do with your home if you have this kind of space, right? Again, here coming this way, we have a covered lanai. There is the access to uh, the bathroom there. So you don't have to run through the house with wet feet. That's a marvelous idea. We have, you know, sitting area here that sits about four to six people easily, but we have your option for a summer kitchen. So this is showing you what the option would look like. You'd have your grill, your large range. You have your cabinetry on the bottom, refrigerator, sink and all the underworkings of the sink and two GFCIs on the side on the side which is amazing and stone top so that is fantastic guys and then you have all this after the pool door all this other space for seating for anything you might like if you guys like to play cards outside you like to drink have coffee all of that you can put here yeah, it's a great indoor outdoor area. Love it, love it. Now bear with me as I close this, I'll put some fast forward action. Woo, all right, Pam's got me working. <laughs> all right guys, now here on the living room, on the side, we hit towards the back area of the home. I'm not gonna go here yet, we're gonna go this way. I just wanna show you right now, this is the model center, but that would be where your garage is, right? So you have your three car garage there. Right, and that obviously that'll be all reformed if you built out your house. But we also have, I like to call this the mud room. Why? Because we have the drop bench here with the hideaway for the shoes under here, right? I think this moves, I don't want to break yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It <laughs> but, and then we have the shelves, but Pam, you're missing the storage closet. Look at this storage closet. If you have trouble putting away your Christmas tree, right? <laughs> uh, Easter, Halloween, whatever. Boom, you got a storage closet. That's amazing. And I love that it's off of the garage. Yes. That is amazing. So right now we have a little notch out area. They put a little like drawer here. I would actually do a drop stop here. So you drop your keys, you know, your hat, yeah, your phone. Yeah, like a charging station. Exactly. I would build that in there. That's a nice spot for that. I but, do like the furniture though. Yeah, it's nice. So across from that though, Pam's gonna show you Harry's room, right? you know, our favorite little wizard. This is his room right here. That's a nice little space under the stairs. So you have two storage closets actually. Now we're gonna roll into my favorite room of the house. This is the media room guys. Yes, I said it, media room. So we have three windows, two on the back side. So you can open this window and ask for hot dogs once they're done. <laughs> Sit down, watch Forrest Gump, right? And then you, if you wanna open up the shades, you have plenty of light coming from these windows. This is my kind of TV. That's how you do it, right? Fits a media station here really easily, right? We have a large couch. We have some, you know, table decorations here for your hot dogs to put on, you know, there. Go ahead, Pam. It's 18 by 10. That's really, This is wow. really big. Wow, love it, I love it, right? Now we have study desk here for the kids. That's also awesome. I love that idea as well. So you have enough space 
So if the kids could come after school, before you have TV, do your homework, then you can have TV. <laughs> and it's also double door, Pam. We forgot to mention that. So. Yep, miss that too. Yep. <laughs> now, we're going to show you guys, before we go in, uh, there's the pool bath. But before we go in, there is a linen closet. And they are using that at the moment. <laughs> and then we have the pool door in the back, right? which is nice. And then what I love is that the shower is butted up against that pool door. Love that because you're really not making any tracks now. No. Right. You come through that door, take a shower, go upstairs or take a shower before you get in my pool. <laughs> <laughs> love the tile that they have here. Love the uh, vanity here with the dark marble top mirror pendant lighting. Very nice. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Now, guys, we're going to come back through. We're going to end up by the stairs here. And I'm going to let you know how far we are from things. So meet me upstairs in two seconds. All right, guys. So MCO is about 30 minutes from this location. Waterford Lakes Town Center is 16 minutes. Disney is 46 minutes. And your nearest Publix is seven minutes from door to door. All right, guys. Coming upstairs into your master. The first thing you get to before I fall over is two doors, right? But you have a seating area here in the primary. We have two windows for natural light. I love the seating area. This whole side is like a New York apartment. Oof, this is amazing. So we have the seating area for reading, books, whatever. Put a TV up. What's the size? Nine by 10. Nine by 10. Now we have our primary bath suite here. We'll get to that in a minute, but I'm going to roll across. And we have our sleeping area. Now, guys, the picture window, phenomenal. Two more windows on the side. All right, above hip height, but not so, lots of uh, light coming through. We also have another window over there. King size bed, trade out ceiling, right? We have the cut off, uh, cut out to the uh, seating area in the primary. Guys, there's enough room here, right? For a bench, a large dresser, right? Mirror, right? And then a seating area with a desk. 17 by 13. 17 by 13. This is phenomenal. It, and then look, you can see your wall from the window. On no, I like the picture window idea with the yeah. two separate windows. I it's like, like looking over your kingdom with your half acre lot, right? Don't touch my wall. Stay away from my stuff. <laughs> Wait, I got to get you your little crown. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> love, I love this room. This is amazing. Now, guys, as we go through back to the seating area, we're going to come across into our primary bath suite. Now, guys, there's a lot to show, so we're going to be back and forth. Let's start with the walk-in, the first walk-in closet. So walk-in number one is seven by eight. Okay, seven by eight. It has a little niche there you can get more storage into. Yep. Then we have what Pam's going to show you is a linen closet on, as soon as you come out of that walk-in, right? Guys, so important. I know this is just a commode room, right? And there is a commode in there, obviously. Pocket door. Ingenious design. Love it. It saves space. No swinging doors into what is behind me. And that is your first vanity, right? So we have our vanity there with our pendant lighting mirror. The same cabinetry and stonework from the kitchen. Love that. And all these little drawers that you see, soft slam and a functioning all open, stuff them with makeup, towels, whatever you want. Then we got a garden tub in the middle, all right? With the transom window. This yeah. is just beautiful. Yeah, make. every time you see a room and I got to take a breath, it's because, and there's more. <laughs> Here's the transom window, garden tub, the built around the garden tub. Then it drops down in. Love it. So if you like, if you're a soaking person, this is the bathroom for you. And then for the shower person, <laughs> we also, we're not leaving you out. We're not leaving you left out. There's a shower with a bench. And look at the tile work. You got that Listello, the black accent equipment. You got the rain head and the handle that is all black accent, right? Love that. The small, um, same kind of matching tile on the floor area. Very nice. Seamless glass with a black handle. Love it. Love it. So I told you we weren't leaving you out. Now we move on to our second vanity, guys. Same stonework, same cabinetry, but double the drawers in size. And there are soft slam as well on both sides. Mirror, pendant lighting, bigger mirror. So there is, there's that. And then we have our little 
bay windows here for more light coming into this area. Go ahead, Pam, you got something to say? Yeah, the whole bathroom is 10 by 13. 10 by 13 for all your back room activity. <laughs> well, what I like is you don't have to share. Yeah, like, yes. It's like this is closet number two. Closet number two. Which is eight by five. And this one has a window. Yes. That is very nice. I'm not closing the door on Pam, just showing you the window, right? So, and I think they're almost about the same size, right? Uh, a foot or two difference. Difference, right. So you don't have to fight over it. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, there's no sharing. Yeah, the, everything's mine, separated. Yours, mine, yours. That's it. Simple as that. <laughs> uh, you know, the start of every healthy relationship. <laughs> 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 now, guys, this is one of my most favorite parts of the home. So you, remember, your living room is over here. Your stairs are over here. This is like a bridge, a walkover, right, to the other bedrooms of the home, which have its separate wings. So you got your primary back here, and then you got your separate bedrooms here. Pam, come up forward a little bit. After the railing, look how big that hallway is. We're gonna get over there in a minute. Let me show you. <laughs> We're gonna walk down this way, right? And we have one of the secondary bedrooms here. Now guys, two windows for natural light, of course. Full-size bed, right? Love the fun funky, uh, futuristic nightstands. That's pretty cool with the ash gray look. Very nice with the mirror and a seating area and a look over into the pool. You saw that? that was yeah, nice. I was stuck on the purse bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's showing you purses, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, let me so, just show you. It's a nice little knapsack. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, the great part of this room is that it is a actual Jack and Jill functioning room. So this is side A and side A has its own, you know, um, vanity with plenty. Look at all these drawers. Look, look, even look, look, is that a, like a lipstick drawer? What is that? I don't know. Uh, I can't be. It's a kid. Fruit roll-ups. Fruit roll-ups go in there, right? So, <laughs> so then you got your mirror, your pendant lighting. Go ahead, Pam. So the bedroom number Side one, A? Yes, mm -hmm. is 11 by 13. Uh, and it comes with the vanity I just showed you. Which is six feet long. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's really I'm nice. telling you, you don't have to share in this yeah. house. I love that. And then your own closet. I know. Your own walk-in. Walk Look at that. So if, if your kids are a little older, around 12 years old, and they like their own things, hey. I know. My room, your room. <laughs> you need one of those hazard signs? Yeah, you know, don't so come in <laughs> past this point, right? I mean, they're going to have to share the tub and the commode. We all agree on that, right? And then we have a linen closet for them in here with their towels. Very deep, actually, too. So they have all the needs that they, they have for the bathroom. But on this side as well, my room, your room, <laughs> right? And I love that it's double, it's the uh, pocket doors, so they're not swinging into the area. It makes it feel more spacious. Now, we're on side B, and we're going to start with the vanity on side B, which is the, it mimics the same one over there. You got your pendant lighting mirror, stone top, and that nice brown color. Go ahead. Also six feet. Also six feet. So you know with kids, it has to be the same. Nobody, <laughs> if it's a quarter of a centimeter off, I want the big one. <laughs> and they have their walk-in. So it's the same, right? And then we roll into side B of the bedroom on the Jack and Jill, which is the baseball themed room, right? And you got your full size bed. You got a, a window over there for uh, natural light. You got the nightstands. You do have a drawer set here and a big mirror. Love it. 12, 12 by 13. 12 by 13. So look at that. Nice and even. <laughs> yeah. And then we get out into our large hallway space on this secondary side of the home. Now, guys, we don't stop there. It's your utility closet just to show you that there is AC in the house with a little bit of storage as well. Nice big space, right? Looks looks like a factory in there. <laughs> we have enough space in these hallways. Look at how, look how big this is for another drawer set for all the kids' studies. That's a great idea, actually. And I love that you hang your book bags here. That's pretty cool. Yes. All right? Now, guys, really quickly, here is your laundry room. And in your laundry room, you can see where the washer and dryer will go, right? And you have the uh, baskets with the, you know, wire shelf on top. You do have a utility sink, which I do love that idea. New cabinets on yeah. top. The cabinets on top might be an option upgrade. Yes. But there is a window here as well. 
which I love. And this is nine by six. Nine by six. That's pretty big, right? Yes. So I love the idea that the kids could just dump their stuff in there too. Well, everybody has their own laundry basket. There's no excuse. There's like baskets Look. here. There's baskets in yeah, the room. Yeah, and there's enough room for it. Uh, Look. There's your data panel. There's your data panel for your internet. The kids will love that. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, but guys, before we go into this other bedroom, the look over, the balcony that we talked about in the beginning, you know, especially for the kids, right? That they come up and they're like, hey, come upstairs. Everybody's upstairs. Their friends come through the door, you know, because in these communities, the doors are left open. Nobody's locking anything. <laughs> it's like it's like one of those um, 90s shows, Saved by the Bell or something. <laughs> and then we have a linen closet. Right. Nice. And we have another bedroom ensuite actually here right now just real quickly decorative windows facing the front of the home we have this is like another king size bed this is 13 by 12. Third, it's like it's another big. master it's big yes. right another primary right and then we have the feature wall here we have that king size bed we have a sitting so this is like the college student i feel or maybe the you know in-law right that, that it's a little bit bigger. You have your own privacy, nice little uh, dresser here. You know, it fits enough furniture. You have a walk-in closet, guys, right, which is big, right? So it could be a mother-in-law suite as well. Um, and then you have the bathroom, which makes it the ensuite. So you got that, that shower bath set on the backside, love it, with the Listello, right? Tile about six, seven feet up. Then you have the commode and then you have also the mirror, the cabinetry, and the pendant lighting. Guys, fantastic. This home is breathtaking. Again, this is the Roseland. And if you need us, so you want to take a tour, you need to feel this home, need to touch it, feel it, smell it, <laughs> give us a call, 407-790-0929. Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando real estate agent. I'm tired. I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>